back to our special edition today, Election Day in America. You are looking at live pictures of voting lines in Pennsylvania, and the results now come in. We're talking about just a couple of hours as polls get ready to close. Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump uh, going to be less than two miles away from each other in Manhattan tonight. Clinton hosting her election night party under an actual glass ceiling at a convention center. Trump and his supporters will gather nearby at a Midtown hotel. Joining me now, Trump's daughter-in-law, Laura Trump. She has been a very big presence on the campaign trail for her father-in-law. And Laura, 17 months almost since your father-in-law launched his campaign. It all comes down to today. You've been out there in recent days, five events in the past three days. How is he feeling today? I think he's feeling great today. I mean, none of us can actually believe, and I think I'd probably speak for most of America, that it's today because we have all been feeling this for, for some time, the anticipation, the buildup, and obviously we've all been out on the campaign trail working so hard, but I think we're all feeling really good. You know, we left nothing on the table and we all worked our hearts out, so uh, today's a big day. And, and what is he doing this afternoon? I mean, he's been, as we have described it, at a frenetic pace, rally to rally to rally, and now he's got to sit around and wait like everybody else. Do, 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 do you talk to him? Do you know what he's actually doing yeah, this afternoon? Well, I've seen a lot of pictures from people. They've been texting me from the war room, from our, our headquarters at the campaign office, that he's been down there checking in with people, talking to people, thanking volunteers, thanking the whole staff, uh, because we've all worked very hard, especially this past month. But, uh, He's been okay. busy. He's, he's been getting a lot of phone calls, I'm sure. So, uh, so we're all, you know, eagerly anticipating the next couple of hours. But I'm sure he's keeping himself busy. Um, so you, you brought up pictures. Uh, there, there's a video of your father-in-law getting a lot of attention. I don't know if you've seen it, um, but it, he, they're voting, and then you see him. Um, well, I don't know what he's doing there, but obviously people are chuckling about this. And then uh, we saw a photo when you went to vote this morning, and I know it's your anniversary. You and your husband went to cast uh, your ballots, and uh, and he appeared to do the same thing. <laughs> uh, what's happening here? I haven't, I haven't even seen either of those, and I didn't, I didn't know my husband was checking it out. But uh, I think we can all feel, feel safe in, in saying that Melania and I both voted for Donald Trump for the presidency of the United States. Uh, I don't know, that's the first time I've seen that. That's very funny, actually, and it uh, shows you the similarities that I guess Eric and his dad share. Um, now, now, on a serious note, uh, Laura, you've done about 50 rallies for your father-in-law. I, I, I was being very serious when I said you have been a very big presence on the campaign trail for him. Women for Trump was the bus tour you did. Uh, but, but you know the numbers. The latest poll from Fox News actually has him down 12 points with women. Um, do you understand why some women are not supporting your father-in-law? Yeah, well, listen, I, I know there's been a narrative from the beginning trying to paint my father-in-law in a certain light, but that's exactly why I got out on the campaign trail and said, I really want to get out and talk to women because the way that the media was portraying him was not the Donald Trump that I knew. And, and that's why we really undertook this mission, this bus tour um, across the country to talk to women and men alike, all, all voters, really about Donald Trump and, and the amazing things that he wants to do for the whole country, women included. And I have to tell you, we have so many women that come to our rallies, and I'm, I'm not the candidate, you know, I'm his daughter-in-law. So I think that the, the polls might be a little off. I, I do think we're going to see a big turnout for Donald Trump with women uh, at the end of tonight. Uh, and, you know, Maybe, maybe we will see that, but one thing, I don't know if you, if you saw this, this either, a lot of voters were visiting Susan B. Anthony's grave site. Obviously, you know, she fought for women's suffrage, and they were putting their, you know, I vote stickers uh, on the grave and um, decorating her tombstone. This is, I guess, a personal question for you, and, and I know, obviously, he's your father-in-law, you support him, you put your heart and soul into it, but if Hillary Clinton wins tonight, she will, of course, make history, the first woman to be president of the United States. As a woman, as a millennial woman, Laura, how, how would you feel about that? I have to tell you, I, I wouldn't feel great about it. And, and the reason being that this is not the candidate that I think most women would choose as our first female president. And, and I do uh, appreciate the milestone that, that would be reached and the fact that she's the first woman nominated uh, to be president. But, you know, we can do so much better than Hillary Clinton. Um, that You see the scandals, you see the corruption, you see what's been going on within the Clinton campaign with all these emails that we've seen come out. She's under criminal investigation. I, I mean, this is not the person that I would choose to be the first woman president, personally.
All right. Well, thank you very much. Just to be clear, obviously, not criminal investigation and, and the FBI arresting that case, but well, Mark, thank you very much case. for your... It's, it's still under investigation, for sure. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time tonight. I know you and your family will have a big night waiting for the results as everyone waits for them to come in. And the county we are watching closely for a big night election surprise is going to be in Michigan. We're going to go live there next. And live to Nevada, where pot is on the ballot. You know, in other elections, you've talked about things like abortion and whether that could turn an election. Well, this time it could be pot in crucial states. Nevada, one of five states that could vote today to legalize recreational marijuana. America's Choice 2016 is brought to you by VoteForEnergy.org, a program of the American Petroleum Institute. Log on to learn more. And by the well-equipped 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander. Look, we need energy. Some say we've got to rely on alternatives. Wind, solar, or stick with oil, natural gas, traditional energy. Try this, all of the above. Now that's real energy security. I'm Maggie, and I'm an energy voter. I spy something in the sunshine and Mickey's. Something that starts with B. Oh, something with F. Um, it's a fire truck. Wait, that's two words. It doesn't count. Is it done? The 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander, one of America's safest crossovers, well equipped for under 24000 Get up to $3,000 cash back on select models during the Mitsubishi Motors holiday sales event.